Hello and welcome to God's Word today. My name is Brenda Gross. It's good to be with you. Good to be in the house of the Lord today. Good to be coming to you by the way of radio and television, TV 48, right here in Keevee, Kentucky. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. This is a day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. There's a lot to be to rejoice about today, praise God. You know, if you see, look out and and see the blessings of God around you, if you're able to see the trees and the greenery and, and the grass, and, and if you're able to see, it's a blessing, because you know what, there's a lot of people that can't see today. Yeah, but you know what? They can see with their spirit when they can't see with their eyes. But if you're able to see and hear, if you're able to walk and talk, there's a lot of people that can't walk today. We need to learn to count our blessings. Praise the Lord. God is a good God. Jesus Christ is available for every, every heart that will receive him. He is available. Come in and make a new creature out of you. And the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. Hallelujah. There is a river whose streams oh, make glad the city of our God. And there Today is a day that the Lord has made for us to rejoice and be glad. And you know what? We can rejoice in the Lord. And the Bible says, let everything that hath breath praise him. Give praise to him. Praise and honor to him. If you look at everything outside, all the things that God has made, the trees and the grass are pointing up. They're lifting up, giving praise to God. Hallelujah. Did you ever think about that? Amen. Somebody brought that to, to my attention. Then I thought about that. Everything outside, even the mountains, are pointed up. The mountains are pointed up. They're not turned upside down. They're pointed up in the trees and the grass, giving praise to God. That's the reason that the Bible says lifting up holy hands. We ought to lift up our hands and give praise to God today because God inhabits the praises of his people. Hallelujah. God inhabits those praises. When you start saying, Lord, I praise you, and I give you glory, and I give you honor today. You know what? God inhabits that praise. He loves praise. God loves us. And you know what? That's our highest form of worship is obedience and praise to him. Lord, we praise you. And not only with our mouth, but in actions and what we do. That's the highest form of praise. Being obedient to him. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. And the Bible says his commandments are not grievous. If you love me, if you love me, keep my commandments. And do my sayings. 
And what did Jesus command us to do? He said, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, soul, and mind. Strength and love your neighbor as yourself. Love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments, Jesus said, hang all the law and the prophets. Praise the Lord. Just like refer it to a, a curtain rod. You know, it's stable. It's, it's hung on two hooks. That's the curtain rod. And the, like, the cur, like the curtains are the law and the prophets. But Jesus is that rod that all this hangs on. Those two commandments of Jesus is, is what. He didn't say, if you love me, keep the Ten Commandments. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. And he gave us two specific. And you know what? Those Ten Commandments are included.